Hey everyone, here's a radio DJ tutorial for you on how to import sweepers to the beginning of a song. There's been a few requests for this. It's a little bit tricky, so I'll show you and uh, we'll show you how you do it. So first of all, you're going to want to go to your track manager and the overlays that you want over top of the songs, you have to import those as sweepers. So you want to make sure you have those in the sweepers category. By default, I'm going to import them as daily sweepers. You can create your own categories, of course, which I've done on my main station. Then you look for the uh, files that you want to import. For um, for this example, I put them in a folder called Overlays Audio. Now, with these overlays, you're going to want to have really, ideally, just speaking and no effects or anything. But you could have jingles, I guess, that are fully produced or whatever. Uh, but it's more or less meant for having a talk over or something. So import those. So we'll import those as sweepers. There we go. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Track Manager. We're going to go to Sweepers again. And this lists all our speak uh, our sweepers. rather. We're going to right-click on all these. I know there's not a way of doing them all at once, but we're going to edit track. Then we're going to make sure we click Play as Overlay for each one of these. I wish there was a way of doing them all at once, but there's not. And we're going to play all these as overlays. That just tells the program what type of uh, what type of a, of a system sweeper it is. There we go. So we've done that. Next thing you're going to want to do is go into your songs. So we'll go pick some music here. Music here. So um, let's go back and pick a song. So. You're, what you have to do is make sure you have your song intro set on all the songs you want this to work on. So if you don't have an intro set on the songs, it's not going to be able to detect if that sweeper can fit on the song. And you also have to assign the sweeper to each song. So, um, so for example, hopefully I don't get copy written for this, but you're going to right click, edit cue. This is how you insert intros. I don't know if you can hear this audio, but we'll see. So you're going to want to click intro and just play this. So there we go. We set an intro for that song. Let's do it for a couple more. It's not really an intro for that song. We'll set one for this. Oops. So we will set one for this. There isn't that big of an intro, but we'll do it anyway. So we'll set it there. And we'll do one more just because it's good to have them all set, but just for this example. Uh, no intro there. Uh, let's see. We don't have any more song. Uh, wherever I go. All right. So we'll do this song. Stop it here. Let's do this song. We'll set one. There's not a very big intro, but we'll set one. So play it. There we go. Now what we're gonna we're gonna want to do on each of these songs that we just said intros for is we're gonna want to set a sweeper, assign a sweeper for each one of those songs. It's weird the way it works, but it does it does work a little bit more when you get used to it. So on the songs you just set the intros for. Uh, make sure you know you verify how long your intro is. So this one has 13 seconds, so it's got a pretty good long intro and you're gonna also one thing that I do is open my track manager and I open up my sweepers and I like to see the duration of each one of my sweepers too so I can tell for sure if it's gonna fit so uh, what we're gonna wanna do is again go back here so I just kinda get an idea so the biggest sweeper in second wise I have here is six seconds so they're all gonna fit in this song so let's go back to here 
and what we do we go to the sweepers tab this is the song I just said an intro for now you're gonna notice uh, here are the sweepers we imported as daily sweepers if you imported them as nightly or whatever else or custom will be listed here so for this we're just gonna click to add you can add all these if you want to and basically what it's gonna do is if you have one here if you pick one it's just gonna play that sweeper over that song when it loads up in the rotation if you have multiple it's gonna pick random so one out of all these if you have them all there so we'll add most of these there then click save now the next thing we've got to try to do is build a rotation telling the system that we do have uh, intro points set so go to track rotation I haven't even created rotation in this yet so we'll go music we'll go top 40 current we'll just uh, add some IDs which I don't have any imported but that's okay and we'll go back to current again as a music category now here's the thing there's a little bar here this is without start intro end. you're gonna wanna pick start so add that as a category that's telling the system hey this category has music in it if there's any songs in this category that have a, uh, a sweeper intro I wanna play them on the start of the song so there we go so let's keep going a little bit just to build this up a tiny bit and then back and then back again and then I'll add one more start uh, station IDs and we'll add one more with the start intro so click OK we're gonna save this as our default rotation so we'll just call this actually we'll call it uh, I like to call it general so that's our normal general 24 7 rotation and we say okay and that's gonna load this up now you'll see now the songs that we have set intros for or sweepers for rather have a intro on them so there's three of course and one thing that you gotta realize is that if we look up say major laser this song here in our rotation and we drag it over here it's not gonna have that intro why because the system needs to cue the song up in order for it to work because it's in within the rotation so if you're planning on dragging a song over and saying oh I want the, the sweeper associated with that it's not gonna work so if I refresh these if you if you have a look at the uh, sweepers with each song here when we refresh and clear the playlist it's gonna redo it changes the sweeper every time like I remember I said that it was uh, generated randomly so that's the way it works so that's how you import a sweeper obviously you'd have a bigger library than I would so they would be a little bit more spaced out and it's also based on your rotation too maybe you have more than just two of the start categories here so it just depends on how you have set it up anyway hopefully that helps thanks for watching if you hear commercials, you're listening to the wrong station. Nothing but hits. Mix 101.7.